Hello there and welcome to Careers TV. My name is Gail Porter and I'll be your host for today's programme on careers in the IT sector. Now there are very few things in history that have truly affected the direction of human progress. Let's see now. The wheel. The alphabet. The light bulb. Sliced bread. And this, the personal computer. Now who invented the computer is a rather difficult question to answer. Many will attribute that to Charles Babbage, an English mathematician and mechanical engineer who conceived the idea of a programmable calculating machine or difference engine in 1822. It would be 119 years until the first ever programmable fully automatic computing machine, the Z3, was created by the late German engineer Konrad Zuse in 1941. And this monstrous contraption was still a long way away from the one sitting at your desk at work. You'd have to fast forward to the end of the 1970s to get the first computers that wouldn't be out muscling office workers for room space. With the creation of the Apple II and then the IBM personal computer, the rest is history. My career in IT is a fast-paced industry that's always changing. You'll meet people that you'll like and they, they'll like the things that you like really. It's, it's an industry that's very exciting and very, very good to be involved in. You're at the forefront of technology and you're helping to develop a marketplace. And leading a marketplace is always a much more exciting place to be than following. It, always, it also means that for those who are interested in technology, um, they're going to be involved at the, at the forefront of technological developments. Um, and if you move into the right roles within your organization, uh, you can be involved with the development right from the inception of products through to the um, fulfilment of them and bringing them to market. Over the last 10 years or so, IT has been placed firmly in the spotlight. And so 10 years ago, in most boardrooms around the country, there wasn't a representative of IT. Now there is. So that just tells you the story. Now the global information technology market is a multi-trillion dollar industry with the US, UK, France, Germany, China and Japan leading the way in terms of expenditure. In the UK, the IT workforce is over 1.2 million strong, that's 4% of total UK employment. And by 2014, that number is set to be over 2 million. So with 3% of the UK's population set to work within the sector in the next decade, why choose to work in IT? IT is a, IT is a massive market, it's a massive world. And for people who are just coming into the, the IT sector, then I think you should be aware that you're, you're entering something which has got so many possibilities. And it's really for you to make the most of those possibilities, work hard, learn well, and you can only do anything pro but progress. How I really came into the industry really started when I was back at school, um, when I was 15 years old, and did a week's work experience um, fixing photocopiers and um, I maintained uh, contact with the company over that period and was lucky enough to go on and do um, sort of ad hoc work experience um, throughout then um, my two years of college where I studied a technical qualification. Um, I was lucky enough after that qualification to be offered a job with the company and from there I, I um, became more involved with the solution side of things with, with software and the connectivity of, of products at the time to customers' networks. Um, my progression from there, obviously doing the technical role, moved into management when I became a, a team leader and later a manager and um, just really worked my way up through um, where I'm now heading up professional services and solutions group. I think uh, to get into the IT industry you've got, to, you've got to be willing to take a job that might not be what you want straight away to gain that experience, to gain that bit of confidence and the communication skills. You, you need because people won't be willing to just give a fresh face as much as they will someone who's already got a little bit of knowledge. Because I mean, my that's how I felt that I, I had to do a few jobs that, that really weren't what I wanted to do until I got a job that was a little bit more technical, a little bit more towards what I wanted to do, and I got a bit more experience. And then I was able to apply for a, a job that was a little bit more nearer, and hopefully I'll be able to build my experience. So. Really, it's gaining work experience, gaining, gaining knowledge and learning more, and you'll be able to you know, show that you can do more. I think if you'd like to work in the IT sector, I think it would be quite a good move. 
the, the industry is constantly developing, constantly moving forward. Um, and I think as long as you're prepared to put the effort in and to motivate and drive yourself enough, that you, then you can do anything you'd like. Like a kid coming face to face with a battery of pick and mix selectables, there are so many career choices within the IT sector that we might actually be standing there for a while in shock as we try and narrow down what we want. So what type of careers are we talking about? Recruitment is really open to everyone and anyone. Um, we work in partnership with Monster, um, who's an online recruiter, and we have a CV database, so we have that open, and managers can go on and look at um, candidates through that Monster search. We also um, will go out to advert in newspapers, local and national, and various um, magazines relevant to the industry. We're also um, dependent, because we're in the UK, dependent on where um, the vacancy is, we may um, go through to an, a university or a college to see whether there's any potential candidates um, through there as well. A graduate entering into our business will uh, undertake a, a comprehensive programme of induction and integration to the business, uh, offering real-time services to customers who expect it to be there 24 by 7. Uh, anybody working at the front line, and remember 90% of our people are working at the front line with customers, have to have a th thorough and fundamental understanding of the services, the technologies, uh, the processes, the way in which they are put together before they can take responsibility for even the most junior roles in the business. Um, so we work very hard in ensuring that they have a comprehensive introduction to the business which will mean the moving through the managed voice, managed data, managed network services, parts of the business and around all of the different offices, Harrogate, London and Reading. So uh, a typical graduate entering into a professional role, uh, graduates will almost certainly always enter into a professional role as opposed to a managerial role in our business, uh, will find themselves in one of the um, core parts of the business budded with a, a, a skilled and experienced uh, professional who will start to bring them up to speed uh, with the processes and with the knowledge uh, to the point in which they're able to operate on their own uh, without any risk to our custom base and therefore any risk to their own career in the industry should things not turn out uh, exactly as they'd hoped with any of their, their actions or, or undertaking their role. So graduates, graduates have to be looked after, they're bright people who are often very ambitious and want to go places and we have to nurture them to ensure that there is no risk to them or our, or our business uh, as, they, as, they, as they take their roles and grow in them. When I first started um, two and a half years ago, the training that was provided to me um, in the first year I've, I believe was fundamental in terms of um, making me into the salesperson I am today. Um, it's like being given a set of tools and a set of instructions and kind of being left alone to um, dictate your career path. Um, don't get me wrong, obviously guidance has been given every step of the way, but um, you're just kind of left to blossom in your own, own way. The role of the solutions consultant has drawn upon a lot, of, um, uh, a lot of different skills. So for example, we've recently recruited people internally that have been um, technicians, so actually fixing photocopiers, and also into the same role we've also recruited people that are salespeople. So it does show that there is a real um, uh, broad spectrum that can be considered in terms of the skills required for the role. You know, both candidates are very successful solutions consultants. Um, beyond that, as we look forward, I think you know the variety provided by the role um, is, is, is vast really. The portfolio of products that we sell is constantly being updated, constantly changing. So from a technical perspective, there has to be um, constant learning and development, but also the environments in which we're going into. We're lucky enough, uh, because we're sort of customer facing and it's business to business, to see a, a, a vast array of, of different industries and business sectors. So that's very, very interesting from the people involved to, to un have to understand, you know, um, when they're involved in going into lawyers or they're involved in going into defence establishments or, or you know, um, logistics organisations, it really does provide a, a, a varied um, uh, viewpoint of what's in the industry.